Amazon's Prime Day has become such a yearly ritual that companies and individuals alike prepare for it. But with this year's Prime Day event coming up on many of us without much warning, inventory is likely to be low with many vendors. And therefore, deals could be snapped up before you have a chance if you're not ready to go. This is exactly why I've produced the list that I'm going to share with you today for my shopping on October 13th and 14th. But this year's a little bit different personally for me. See, in the past I was really just looking at making sure I had all my entrance points covered by my security system, but you know what, this year with so many new and unique products available on the market, I'm going to be looking at, instead of just extending what I've already done, creating some additional capability in my home. I have the second generation Echo speaker set up in a 2.1 configuration with my Echo Sub around my Fire TV Cube, and that's my home theater set up in the living room, and I'm okay with that, but with the new configuration, the new way that the speakers both look and feel, I happen to personally like them, and I think it's time to move on from those older speakers. So I think I'm gonna replace those second gen with the new fourth gen speakers or if the deal is good enough on the echo studios i'm going to snap up a couple of those and create a real sound experience for my home theater setup I've already seen the Echo Show 8 and the Echo Auto on sale for Prime members right now. And you gotta remember that lots of these deals are going to be Prime only. So if you're not going to sign up maybe just for a month, then you're gonna miss out here on some of these deals because they're kind of behind the scenes. But both of those are a really good price. I really love the Amazon Echo Show 8. And then the Echo Auto, I think I'm just ready because you're gonna get a new display on your phone that works in conjunction with the Echo Auto. Well, I think I'm ready to put that in the second vehicle. But these are smart speakers and there's nothing new about smart speakers and I said unique. Well, Yale actually has come out with something that I think is really unique and useful for a lot of people. And I'm not saying that you go and you put one of these everywhere within your home, but this little smart lock that they've created, especially the Wi-Fi version I think is really useful in terms of locking down a single cabinet or a single box or something that you really want to keep safe and keep track of when it's being opened and you can actually review the history so you'll know how often your liquor is being stolen by your kid. I come home every day from being out somewhere and almost every time there is a package sitting on my porch and I'm betting a lot of people have this right now and we all know that there's a lot of the porch pirates if you want to you can now go out and get the delivery box from Yale that's really working with the same sort of technology what's really great about one version of this too is you can get a cooler and place that inside and then if you're getting those food delivery services which I was doing for a bit you're not worried about how long that's sitting out there on your porch you can just let it sit in the box keep it locked and you're good to go one of the things that's always bothered me is the kind of natural split between products that work with Apple HomeKit and then products that work with Amazon or Google or Samsung and we have this split in the market right now and Miros way back when when I went and got their garage door opener I didn't think a ton of that device I liked it and I used it for a very long time but I didn't think that it was the kind of device that I would be coming back to when they came out with a new version that included HomeKit. So now you have a garage door opener based on Wi-Fi that can work with Google, Amazon, Apple, and Samsung Smart Things. And I, I don't know what else you need, but if you need anything else, sorry. This one's also from Miros, and I was surprised to see this product come out. But one of the things that I've shown you guys, you know, the Yi Light D2 lamps, and you look at this smart diffuser sitting here, this has a light in it. And Honestly, I really like these little fixtures with a great multicolor light capability, the ability to set scenes and all of those different things. And Miros has actually come out with a lamp that is at a price point I can't ignore. And I like these because you can just move them around your house as you see fit, change which room they're in, 
based on how things are looking and you get a great color light that's controllable again through all of those other systems. Every year on Prime Day, I go out and I'll buy a number of Samsung SmartThings sensors. And this is what I'm talking about. It's a little bit different this year because this is where inventory starts to be a problem and I don't need a ton of these, but I do need a few more to kind of finalize the whole security system. And so I've been looking at a couple of alternatives because Honestly, most people can't find the Samsung SmartThings sensors in their countries. This Ecolink contact sensor for $13 has worked perfectly for me, and so I'm on the hunt for a bunch more of those. Now, it's always interesting to me when a company comes out, they put out their own hub, and they say, we're going to create a lineup. And it's really interesting to me when that company does it for like $15 a sensor, or that's kind of what I'm expecting around Prime Day. See, Sonoff just put out a bunch of Zigbee devices that are supposed to work in conjunction with their hub, but there's this little trick where you can put them into Samsung SmartThings as an EWI Link device. Last year on Prime Day, I made kind of an impulse buy. I'd been looking for a little bit and I'd seen really good deals and I bought this D-Bot and I reviewed it for you guys and I said it's terrible and quite frankly the only time I've enjoyed it all year is when I've given it to my kid stuck it in a little arena and let him put his characters and his toys on it and just gone to town with it that's been the best thing I've done with it otherwise it's been a pain and so I'm ready to do an upgrade and there's a number of smart vacuum makers that you could go out there purchase and and you can get really great stuff but I'm finding you know Robo Rock has kind of hit the right price point and the right quality for me at this point. And they've always been pretty good. But when I saw them at CES this year, I, it was pretty clear to me that they had turned a corner and they were ready for the big time. And then we saw the S6 come out. It has great reviews from everyone. Everyone that I've talked to says they love it. It's a mop and it's hitting that price point for quality I think that you need. I remember having this chat with Gareth who's been one of the longtime supporters of the channel and honestly he's been a personal friend to me and I shouldn't have made fun of him when I did but he told me he had a diffuser, a smart diffuser and I kind of laughed at him and giggled about it and you know I made the standard guy remarks that you would about something like that. But I got one. I love it. It, it Honestly, it saved my life when I was sick a couple of weeks ago. And then on top of that, it just sets the ambience really well in your home. It sets the mood. It's a great light and you can control that light separately with Google and Amazon. And then on top of that, it's really great how it diffuses so I love it and I'm going to get a second one especially if they're on sale here during Prime Day. Now I'm putting this out on the Saturday before Prime Day and I promise there's actually some thought behind that once in a while I have a good idea. What I've noticed the last few years is that other companies go and preempt Amazon and they'll usually start their deals kind of the, the weekend before. It'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and those deals will be on. And so one of the companies I'm watching and always watching is Google because I love that Nest Hub Max. And I only have one of these things and I want a second one. So what I'm kind of thinking for my audio setup overall is a stereo pair of the Nest Audios and then a couple of those Nest Hub Maxes throughout my home as the smart display interface, the smart control interface. and Honestly, they're still the best ones on the market. So if I can save $50, which kind of what I'm expecting at this point with the Nest Hub Max, then I'm gonna go do that. And that does mean I'm on the hunt for a second Nest Audio. I only have one of those and I love the stereo pairing effect that I've even gotten with the little Nest Mini. So I'm on the hunt for that. I've already bought myself the Google Chromecast with TV, that's on the way. And I've actually already bought myself another Fire TV stick, the new one. So you guys will see that come out here on the channel, but, the other thing that I'm looking at is a third Nest Wi-Fi access point, or if those don't go on sale, I already have the router and access point, I'm gonna go and get a second router and do the dual router thing that many of you are doing, gives you a little bit of extra speed there, and I think is a really powerful setup for Nest Wi-Fi. Now I'm actually working on a project here with Mark from Exotic Car Play Place, and if you don't know him, I mean, the guy knows cars, but 
He's also a master electrician, and actually that's how I knew Mark for so long, is we work together and he's the best electrician I know on the planet. So what he's actually helping me do is set up a little test bed. I need some outlets, I need some uh, light switches, because I'm in a rental here and I want to show you guys how they all work, how you're putting them into your homes, and I can't do that here so we're gonna create a little test bed and so I need a couple of light switches and I've been telling you guys about the GE in Brighton series and they came out with a new set of them this year they're Z-Wave and they're capable of working with many hubs I love those and I'm gonna watch those to see if I can get five bucks off because they're pretty cheap at this point the other company is actually Honeywell and their ultra pro lineup they have a set or a switch for every situation and so I want to try a couple of those as well and put them into this new project show you guys what it's all about so of course with it being prime day right away here all of the links are down below please go check out the products that you want to have a look at and want to prepare for on October 13th and 14th otherwise thanks for watching and of course don't hate automate